think the oldest item at the moment is this morning cape, which comes from, let me just see, it's sil a silk morning cape with an ostrich feather trim uh, around 1890. Retro to me means looks like old but isn't necessarily old. A modern dress that's made to look like a 20s dress is a retro 20s dress. Retro doesn't have the appeal necessarily a vintage. The flapper dresses are one of our biggest sellers and that one there is the best example probably you'll ever see. <laughs> it's amazing. From the 1920s. Before that they were wearing corsets and had to be very stiff and starchy. So in the 20s they, they came out of the corsets and they, and they wore loose clothes and they danced and the, that, was a, that was a flapper. They're all, all the beaded dresses and sequin dresses from the 20s were made in Paris. So women, rich women in, in England would go to France, go to Paris to do their shopping. And it mainly, they mainly came back with the... Because you've got the little labels on them still. Yeah. Some of them were originally wedding dresses, and here's one that was a, a night dress in the 30s. It was probably only worn once or twice, maybe on her wedding night. And now it's actually going to be worn by a, a beautiful young woman to get married in. Clothes from the past were made to last, as well as, as, well as made to look beautiful. And Obviously, th this means they were of better quality. Right. What's called an opera hat from 1890. This is the oldest thing, and this is a very... The reason it is an, it's called an opera hat is because in the op if you went to the opera, you couldn't really wear a top hat, it would get in people's way. So, you sat on it. It collapses. So, and then when you wanted to put it on again, you just press it. And it's, that's an opera hat. So that's quite fun. I think conjurers use them as well. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Women will always buy new clothes because of fashion. Fashion changes constantly. For example, in the 1970s, the fashion was for Victorian clothes because of people like Laura Ashley, modern, looking at Victorian, designing Victorian clothes. So therefore, when people came to buy vintage, they bought vintage Victorian clothes. And then again, things changed and in the 80s there was a sort of sharp suit look so 1940s suits were were fashionable so yes they'll always women will always change the look their look because of fashion hello i've been in the store several times i just like the the clothes from that era and it's always fascinating to just look around and see so that's why i was pretty excited about this event because the 40s and 50s has always been an era i've i've thought was pretty interesting the dress fits well i think yeah, do you think lovely. what do you think about the headpiece with it i think it works perfectly yes sort of perfect yeah. one outfit complete and i'm going to look for a second <laughs> my boyfriend's an avid classic car collector and is going to this event and I'm going with him. A big part of the event is also dressing in the either 40s, 50s or 60s era. 1950s comes back because it's glamour. There's glamour in the 50s. You just immediately think of someone like Marilyn Monroe and... I think I found out for number two. Glamorous prom dresses. You can go to parties in 50s dresses today and feel just very beautiful. 